Florence Kerr Olivier was born in Dorking in southern England on May 22, 1907, to a strict religious family. Both his father and grandfather held prominent positions in the Anglican Church. His mother, too, came from a family of career clerics, but she was his solace in the rigid household run by his father. As the youngest of their three children, Olivier was shattered when his mother died in 1920, when he only 12 years old. But despite his father's severity, it was he who encouraged Olivier, also known to the family as Kim, to pursue acting as a career after Shakespearean roles at school showcased his early talent. Olivier enrolled at the Central School of Speech and Drama and followed theatrical tradition, joining the Birmingham Repertory Company. He rose quickly from spear carrier to leading man and soon moved to London's West End. An early theatrical success came with the debut of Noel Coward's Private Lives, which was quickly followed by a bold production of Romeo and Juliet, in which Olivier and John Gilgood alternated playing Romeo and Mercutio. The two actors, whose styles clashed, remained lifelong rivals. Olivier's dashing good looks attracted the attention of up-and-coming actress Vivian Lee, and they soon began a passionate romance, abandoning their previous spouses. He was wed to actress Jill Esmond at the time, and she was the mother of his first child, son Tarquin. Olivier made his mark with star turns in many of Shakespeare's leading roles, including those of Hamlet, Henry V, Anthony, Richard III, Macbeth, and Othello, and Lee often appeared as his leading lady, making the couple, who married in 1940, London theatre royalty. The couple also toured and appeared in the United States, capitalizing on her popularity from Gone with the Wind's wild success. He was known to experience crippling stage fright, even as a seasoned actor. After the demise of their marriage due to Lee's battle with manic depression, Olivier made a career departure. He starred in John Osborne's The Entertainer, marking a turn in his life and acting approach. Helping to establishing the Royal National Theatre, Olivier became its founding director, serving from 1962 to 1973. Olivier's first forays into film were faltering, but he hit his stride as Heathcliff in Wuthering Heights and Rebecca, which catapulted him to matinee idol status, and helped fund his theatrical ventures. He also put to film some of his most famous Shakespearean roles, winning his first Academy Award, Best Actor in a Leading Role, and a second nomination, Best Director, for Hamlet. Nevertheless, later in his career, Olivier took almost any role offered for the paycheck so that he could provide for his family. In addition to son Tarquin from his first marriage, he and his third wife, actress Joan Plowright, had three children together, son Richard and daughters Tamsin and Julie Kate. But Olivier went on to reclaim his reputation with acclaimed roles, including that of the Nazi dentist in Marathon Man. He received a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Academy in 1979.
Following a decade's battle with cancer and related illnesses, Olivier died on July 11, 1989, at his home in West Sussex, England, just outside London. Olivier is one of the few actors to be buried in Westminster Abbey's esteemed Poets Corner. The honor is fitting for the youngest actor to be knighted at age 40 by King George VI, and the first to be elevated to the peerage in 1970 by Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth II dubbed him Baron Olivier of Brighton, which allowed him to sit in the House of Lords. She later bestowed upon him the Order of Merit. The Olivier Awards, England's equivalent of the Tonys, are named in Olivier's honor.